Guys, I don't, I don't think anyone on our team really agrees with the extremely high jinx prior. We all have eyeballs, okay? I'd like to think that, at least on a team of five, you can't be that delusional because then all five of the players have to... All five of the players have to be delusional together for like something like that to be a recurring issue. I, th I think the fact is that we just are we were just so one-dimensional and it was like a butterfly effect of like a, a a bunch of problems. And the best way I can describe it is our team could only win with like band-aid fixes to our problems. That's why we turned the split around at the end because we could only win with super band-aid fixes. Our team is so predictable and so one-dimensional, and our draft is absolutely unplayable if the enemy team knows how to draft. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you guys could see it in the, between the FlyQuest and the Golden Guardians game. We are so checkmated before the game even starts, and that's just because we don't. We're not like we weren't actually like a very strong team, but we were just really good at doing one thing. And and if we didn't do that one thing, then we became like instantly. Half as good. We just needed uh, to be a little like more flexible and more versatile, and like uh, that's all I'm gonna. That's all I can really say. Like uh, I don't think that Jinx Thresh. I'm looking around uh, the entire world, and I don't see anyone else playing that lane. But yeah, we just kind of forced ourselves into a hole, and it's it's so hard. It's it's a lose lose situation. The only thing that we could have done differently is to make faster changes and just get better throughout the entire split faster i guess i love reading comments about how like because me and bjergsen have been playing lcs for a long time we love playing slow and scaling like that's our like preferred method of playing yes yeah, i love playing losing matchups and just doing nothing until 40 minutes hey guys the, the truth is that if you're a really shitty team and I think we were a pretty shitty team, uh, at the like, unless you're playing our comfort, then you don't have the luxury of of winning lanes and stomping the enemy team in 25, 30 minutes. You just don't have that. Like that's not an option. It's just grayed out on the list. The only way that you can win is through outplaying the enemy team in draft or in like five on five team fights. We just are, basically our team was just really inflexible. And it created like a crazy snowball effect because when a couple things are locked in for sure, then everyone else has to comply their pick or their kind of like uh, uh, way of playing to the things that are, you know, set in stone. And uh, yeah, uh, it's it just, it's a shitty situation all around. I don't think anyone is really being set up for success. I don't think like tenacity is being set up for, to succeed. I don't think... Uh, John closer me Bjergsen the only person who could you could realistically say has like a lot of freedom is support because support is a is a doggy role you know like you can play whatever and it'll fit the comp probably as long as it's a good good pick and you're playing well um, but I don't know like I said I don't think anyone's really being set up to succeed yeah it's like every game Buzio Rakan and closer Lee Sin is is uh, is a locked ban for the enemy team right like they just ban Rakan and Lee and so that should give us some sort of advantage in draft. That should actually give us some flexibility in the draft, if you think about it that way. Like, whoa, they just have to ban these two champs because they know that if they give it to us, then their chance of winning is super decreased. But it's actually the inverse. Like, it feels like, holy shit, after they take those picks away, like, uh, we're, we're actually getting uh, pressured a bit. So it sucks. It sucks. I don't think it's really anyone's fault, by the way. I, I hope I... Yeah, I hope I am not like being misunderstood. It's not anyone specifics in in specifics fault. It's just like the nature of like being a weak team that's spiraling and going on the down like downswing. We went one and seven in the middle of the split, then having to make really severe changes so that we could even make playoffs to begin with, and we went on that run where we went seven zero uh, and turned our split around and actually made it into playoffs and actually made I think like third place. In the regular split is like a crazy turnaround, and that was only possible because we had to focus on the short term, and we had to, like I said, put a band-aid on all the problems. 